with tears in her eyes. Adora knelt before the spirit, the cursed bride who bedwets. In a peaceful village named Otwa, everyone believed so much in curses and blessings. It was a place where people respected the spirits and listened to their ancestors through rituals. Join me on the adventure of Adora. Adora was born on a beautiful night with a full moon shining brightly. Her parents, Noma and Okoye, were very happy to have her. Her mother was well known for her healing powers and her father was a skilled fisherman. Adora grew up loved by everyone. But her life was not as perfect as it seemed. One day, a very old man came to the village. He was a seer who could see even the future. He told Noma that Adora was under a serious curse from a past life. She would be wet even after she is an adult. Only true love and sacrifice can break this curse, the old man said. Noma was sad but decided to keep the secret, hoping it would never happen. Adora grew up to be a very beautiful young woman. Her skin shone like the sun and her eyes were deep and kind. Many men came from far and wide to ask for her hand in marriage, but she fell in love with a man named Ejike. He was the chief's son, tall and handsome, and he loved her deeply. But Adora had a secret. She had started bedwetting when she was young, just like the old man had warned. Now, she was ashamed to even tell AJK because she was worried that he would just stop loving her. Finally, the day of the wedding came. There was music, dancing and laughter everywhere. Adora looked stunning in her traditional wedding attire, but deep down, she was nervous. That night, after the wedding, Adora could not sleep. She was afraid that she would be wet. And in the morning, her fear came true. The bed was wet. Adora started crying and finally told Ejike about the curse. She thought he would leave her, but surprisingly, Ejike held her and said, We will face this together, my beautiful wife. We will. Ejike was kind, even though the bedwetting continued. And soon, the villagers began to gossip about Adora, calling her many names. They told Ejike to leave her, but he refused. Rather, he started searching for ways to break the curse. He visited healers and priests, but nothing worked. One night, a wise old woman named Mamez came to them. She told them that love alone would not break the curse. Adora must make a great sacrifice, my son. She must give something from her heart if you want to lift the curse. Mamese told them that the curse was from Adora's past. They needed to go to the sacred forest of Ani and made a special sacrifice to the spirits Adora had wronged. Adora and Ejike began their dangerous journey. 
The forest was dark and full of wild animals and tricky paths. Adora started to remember her past life. She had been a proud princess and had called a spirit who loved her. This spirit had caused her soul and that course followed her into the new life. Mm, what a mystery. After many hard days, they finally reached the heart of the sacred forest. There, they met the spirit Adora had hurt. The spirit appeared as a beautiful woman and said, So brave because Adora must offer a true sacrifice. Ejike offered himself, saying, Oh, please take me instead and spare Adora. But the spirit shook her head. Adora must show true love and humility. Adora must do so. <laughs> With tears in her eyes, Adora knelt before the spirit. I am so sorry for my past mistakes. I offer my pride and my prayers. Please forgive me, please. The spirit saw that Adora had truly changed. She was no longer the proud young lady he had met in the past life. So, she lifted the curse and immediately a bright light surrounded Adora and she felt free from the curse. With joy, Adora and AGK returned home as heroes. The villagers were amazed by their bravery and the love they have for each other. Adora was no longer cursed and she lived happily with AGK. They had children and told them the story, teaching them about the power of love, humility, and courage. In the end, Adora became a wise woman in the village, helping others who were in need. Her story was passed down from generation to generation, reminding everyone that even the darkest curves can be broken with love and sacrifice. And so, in the village of Otwa, the story of the cursed bride and her loving husband became a tale of hope, love and redemption. Do you know that bedwetting means peeing by accident, usually by children, but adults can also have this problem. It can happen during the day or at night. Here are some things you can do at home to help stop bedwetting. Drink less water or juice in the evening. Stay away from drinks with caffeine like soda or tea. Use the toilet regularly during the day. Thanks for watching. Love from the classic stories.